Fleet Houston. After uh, serving the world for over 30 years, the space shuttle turned its place in history and it's come to a final stop. We copy your will stop, and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation. Isang tagumpay na naman po at guguhit sa ating kaysaysayan ng Pilipinas ang makapagpadala ng panibagong nano-satellite sa panghimpapawid. Matatandaan nga po natin ng huling video natin kung saan pinalabas nga po natin ang uh, pagpapadala ng Pilipinas ng mga satellites gamit nga po ang Project Diwata pati na rin po ang Project Maya. Pinalabas na nga rin po natin ang successfully launched na kauna-unahang rocket na gawa sa Pilipinas na nakapag-deploy nga po ng canned satellites. 32 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. May tuturing nga po na isa ang Pilipinas sa mga mahihirap na bansa sa mundo Ngunit hindi naman po tayo papahuli pagdating nga po sa teknolohiyang pangkalawakan at sa katotohanan ang Project Diwata at Project Maya ay gawang sariling atin pati na nga rin po itong bagong inalunsad na Maya 5 and 6 kung saan kabilang nga po ito sa isa sa mga payload ng SpaceX Falcon 9 na ipapadala sa International Space Station para doon nga po ito i-deploy. Discovery's four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Nakatakdang ilunsad bukas, June 4, ang dalawang Cube Satellites o CubeSat ng bansa patungong International Space Station, batay sa ulat ng Philippine Space Agency o PhilSat kahapon. Sakay ng SpaceX Falcon 9 ang Maya 5 at Maya 6 Cube Satellite na sisimulang i-launch sa oras na alas 12.34 ng hating gabi mamaya. Ang dalawang CubeSat ay binuo sa ilalim ng Space Technology and Applications Mastery Innovation and Advancement o Stamina 4 Space Program sa tulong ng Department of Science and Technology, FILSA, University of the Philippines Diliman at Kyushu Institute of Technology ng Japan. May katulad na mission payload, payload ng Maya 2 ang bagong Maya 5 habang ang Maya 6 naman ay may experimental na onboard computer mission payload na magkocontrol ng Hentena mission at attitude o altitude determination and control system. Kasama sa dalawang CubeSats ang amateur radio communication system na maaaring tumanggap ng mga packet. Inaasahang magbibigay ang naturang proyekto ng mahalagang datos at mga larawan na tutulong sa pagsaliksik sa Pilipinas sa larangan ng space science at pagsulong ng agham at teknolohiya. At dito nga po sa ating video ay papakita ko ang aktual na footage ng paglipad ng SpaceX papunta nga po ng International Space Station. Ignition. Engine full power and lift off of Starlink 6-4. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Falcon 9, position down there. Stage 1, chamber pressure normal.
at T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida at 5.56 a.m. Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And Falcon 9 is now traveling supersonic, meaning it is going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. We are about one minute away from a series of events being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and fairing separation. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. During stage separation, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin, vacuum, chilling in. Light its Merlin vacuum engine, marking second, marking second engine start one, to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away, fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. And let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, in about 20 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And vaccination. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko stage separation and SCS-1. We're now coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And we will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for its sixth time and the other flying for its ninth. And currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, just read the instructions. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for another several minutes. Both stages continue on nominal trajectories. And as you just heard, stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories Actually, and performing as down. expected. And as you can see on your screen, we have two out of Falcon's four grid fins in view on the left, and they measure four feet by five feet and help us guide the booster to its landing site by actively changing the vehicle's center of pressure. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 37th mission just this year and 236th mission overall. And coming up next in the mission is entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing.
Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. And Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. And Starlink is currently live in 71 markets and countries around the world. And there's the call out for stage one entry burn. And stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And you just heard the call out that the entry burn. That the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And the next major milestone coming up will be, be the beginning of our stage one landing burn, where a single Merlin engine is lit up to scrub Falcon's last bit of velocity before touching down. And we can expect that last landing burn to begin in about a minute from now. the call out that the first stage is now transonic, meaning it is traveling nearly the speed of sound. Stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one landing mode deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the third time. And we're now coming up on second engine cutoff. Ito. Patuloy nga po ang inyong lingkod sa pagbibigay ng mga gayetong klaseng video patungkol nga po sa space program ng ating bansa Katuwang nga po ang Philippine Space Agency pati na nga rin po ang Department of Science and Technology At ilalagay ko na nga lang po sa description box ang huling video natin kung saan i-feature nga po natin ang Project Tala So maraming salamat nga po sa inyong panonood Hanggang sa uulitin nga po. This is Sun Launch Control at T-minus 1 hour, 19 minutes and counting. Uh, still, all goes well, uh, technically, with the operations. So the launch of Columbia on mission SPS-73. The closeout crew has just been given the go-ahead.